We, we did the show in Winnipeg, sorry, tangent, but we did the show in Winnipeg. It was a great show, we had a lot of fun. Um, and someone was at the front, 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 front. They were like wilding out to that first track. And then they like point while we're like doing, like we're just chatting between yeah. tracks. She like points at us, she's like, where are you guys from? Yeah. Our this. first song off of our first EP concludes with a statement repeated over and over again that says, bitch, we are from India. <laughs> I'm a Boshi, and we are Cartel Madras. All the brown dudes that I know want to be a white. Come at me saying you're not like other brown chicks. I go get the f out of my face. I'm Indian, Dravidian, triple gen thick. We are a hip hop duo from Chennai, India, and also Calgary, Alberta. We're trying to do something new with our music. We call it Gunda Rap, and we kind of have, we're like a year and a half into this, and it's been pretty, pretty it's wild been awesome. so far. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, should we? So, so like, like we just go, like, so this is funny. Yes. And this is based on my thesis. Yes. Exactly. Okay, perfect. This is academia. Okay. <laughs> okay, pick one up. What's your queer anthem, or what do you have on repeat lately? Ooh, this is really that's a really good question. Anything by Cakes Tequila. They're amazing, fabulous rapper. That's definitely, like, up there for me. Dope Dick Dealer by LSD, XOXO, incredible. Mm. Nice. Slob on my ass. Slob on my ass, oh my god. Amazing. This one, Ugh. inspiring. Holy really. shit, this song changed my life. Okay, so now we're gonna go with Serious? Well, I'm gonna shuffle it. Terrified. I'm shuffling it. What would you do if you ran into the one that got away? So, there is no such person There's in no my such life. person? I'm living really good. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. I don't think I have that person. I don't think I have ghosts. I mean, it's, it's if, really nice to not be haunted, if there but honestly, was. Don't think like that. that person. What a waste of time. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. word of advice to, to like, confront them. anybody dating right now, nobody gets away. There's literally yeah, 7 that. billion people in if the world. If they're not with you, then But like, do love deeply, love strong. Wow. And, you know, safe sex. <laughs> what's your, okay, we got another anthem one. Okay. What's your karaoke so it's, anthem? What's your karaoke anthem? My secret is I might hate karaoke. I love uh, karaoke. It's always Alicia Keys, even when I can't hit the notes. Yes. Who was the hardest person you had to come out to and why? That's a good question. I think most of me figuring out my queer identity was when I was really young and then through Cartoon Madras. So I feel like there's so many conversations that I've been able to have like through my music and on stage and with my audience and around my music. So it, it but when I was younger in high school, it was definitely a more like painful and difficult conversation to have with my friends who didn't even really understand it at the time. And even, even I didn't. I feel like I'm still coming out, if mm. that makes sense. I would almost say revising how I categorize my sexuality and what that coming out experience was like wasn't even difficult, but very interesting because I think rephrasing how you approach those things is like, a, an exercise in and of itself, but also one where you have to sort of debate who you are going to now go back and like re-clarify these things yeah. to. Because it's like, right, growing up very easily, easily I said to everyone, yes, I'm bisexual, this has always been the case. Mm -hmm. And then sort of coming to a point a little after that and being like, right, I'm, I'm pansexual and being comfortable with claiming that identity and that term and being able to explain that to people wasn't necessarily the hardest part mm -hmm, about the whole experience, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. being vocal about it, it takes a bit more work to do. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that. Fun question time. Who's your favorite person to follow on Insta? This is amazing. Ooh. There's a great Instagram account, um, cartel.madras. Yeah, that's probably my favorite Everyone right should now. follow them. What's well, something you wish more, more people, people knew, knew about, about you. you. I wish people knew that it was like a struggle to come to terms with like our, our ethnicity and racial identity. Like it was, it was a struggle to figure that out as like immigrant kids here. You know what I mean? It wasn't like we like jumped out of the womb as Karka Madras. Having this sort of like culmination of how we want to represent ourselves and how we want to talk to the communities that we're a part of mm -hmm. and beyond that, getting to that place is a continuous process and I think that is something 
that isn't often mentioned. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a lot of conversations that go into why we write the way we write, why we behave on stage the way we do, and this whole element of like songwriting and performing. There's yeah. a lot of like work that is put into that intellectually and artistically. Yeah. And it's not just us like coming up on stage lit, being lit, yeah. and like turning up. That's a huge part of it, but yeah. yeah.